Hi, my name is Dan Petrock, and I'm going to be your Math 156 instructor this fall of 2024. just want to introduce myself in this video, give you a brief overview of the course, and um, I'm going to start with my family. So this is me, uh, Dan. You can just call me Dan uh, in your email or phone calls or text, whatever. Uh, this is, and I've been at DMEC for 20 years, and uh, I'm also an associate pastor at Living Faith Church in Clive, and uh, so that keeps me busy. And then this is my wife, Sarah, and she has been at Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield as a CPA. We've been married for 29 years. And then Gavin uh, just graduated from Iowa State Computer Engineering, and he works for Alliant Energy. Kaylin uh, just got married, and I'll just show you. Kaylin got married to Blake, and there's their wedding photo uh, about just this summer. So we're excited to have him. Uh, Kaylin's at Iowa State in Mechanical Engineering. Blake is getting his master's at Grandview in athletic training conditioning. And then Jensen is a senior at Dallas and Grimes and uh, is really into golf season now. So that's my family. I know uh, you have other things besides statistics that are priorities in your life, and I understand. I just want to put a face with a name and uh, get you to know me a little bit better. I'll be looking forward to your introductory um, classes in, in class or discussion boards. And uh, I think the best way to go through this is just to give you an overview. I'm going to go into the modules real quick and each week you're going to be going through modules uh this first week is really two modules one is called orientation where uh in this orientation module you're going to be doing uh you'll watch this welcome video if you want but then there's a syllabus quiz introduce yourself discussion and then practice uploading a document the reason we have you that is because for your first two exams they are online and unproctored, and you'll be wanting to upload your written work. Um, so we suggest using Adobe uh, Scan, but you can use whatever you want. Trying to get the two pictures or two pages or more into one file is the key there. So, um, and then I've got a schedule of everything that's going on this summer as well. So I would just include, I would encourage you to just have that handy so you can kind of see what to do each week. And then also do week one this first week. Um, and as you'll see, I'm just going to click. There's notes over every section. These are publisher notes. Some people like to, and I made them a Word document, so they're editable. Some people like to take notes as they're going through the sections. Um, and then right here is section one, section two. Uh, we are using StatCrunch, so this will get you oriented to StatCrunch. It's the statistical software we'll be using this year. But each section, I'll just uh, click on section one, three here. But each section has an interactive assignment and then a homework. So the read, watch, and interactive assignment. This is really your ebook, and it's supposed to both give you some text and some multimedia ways to learn. And really going through this, you get points for going through it, um, and you'll see that score change as you click on content. Uh, you'll need, I guess I'm behind my head of schedule already because the class doesn't start until later. So um, anyway, that's, that's where you'll do your interactive assignments, and then homework is very limited uh, it comes after that. So so these assignments are going to be due essentially every Tuesday at midnight. Uh, really encourage you to work on them throughout the week. Do not wait till last minute so you won't get them, uh, you won't have enough time to get them done. Uh, so you'll do the interactive assignments and you'll go into the homework and you'll do that for each section. Um, I'll go back to modules here. And so we've broken the course up into three major chunks. Uh, chapters one through three, chapters uh four, five, and seven and eight. We kind of that's a little different in there. It's unit one and unit two. And then at the end, it's uh, the more difficult chapters. The unit three is chapters nine, ten, and eleven. And I try to space it out so we have plenty of time to do it. Um, and then you'll take a proctored exam over uh, over all that content. So uh, let's see here. Yeah, you we. Week 14 is when you take the exam review, and then week 15, 16, you actually take the um, exam. And we also have a, a project that we'll do this semester. We'll, we'll start it earlier in the course, but pretty much that project is to find a research article uh, and answer a bunch of critical questions about it, um, different things about sampling or design or bias, uh, what kind of techniques or statistical analysis to use. So it applies everything you're using in this course, and that will be due the last week of the course as well. So that's kind of the, the gist of it. And I'm going to go to the syllabus to show you how the grades are broken out. Um, obviously, you're going to do a syllabus quiz, which will force you to kind of go into the course syllabus and um, 
you know, discover these things for yourself. There we go. Loading. All right. And then I'm just going to go all the way down here. Uh, notice it's, they're going to ask you how many. You should be spending about, um, you know, six to nine hours a week working on this course. And, and we're going to ask you to kind of set a schedule for yourself, one of our assignments. Uh, there's lots of ways to get help, either through uh, contacting me. Um, there's an Ask My Instructor button with your homework. Online office hours. There's online tutoring through DMAC, or you can go to our in-person tutoring services at DMAC and the Achievement Centers. That's all free. <clears throat> there's some tech support info. Um, I, I am on campus five days a week this semester, so uh, that's this kind of tells you where I'm at and what days uh, for if you want to get a hold of me in person. And I'm going to go down here to the grading type. Okay, so grading, so you're on those interactive assignments and homework are worth 25% of your overall grade. If you you can always redo the interactive assignments for 100% credit, and the online homework can be redone. The questions you don't get done can get uh, redone for half credit. Um, and then for the online students, there's discussions and stack crunch assignments. That's 15%. There's usually a weekly assignment, uh, stack crunch assignment or discussion, and that's worth 15% of your grade. The project I just described is worth 10% of your overall grade, and then the three exams are worth half of your grade. So uh, that's pretty much. Uh, and if you're taking, if you're an online student, you're going to take a proctored exam at one of the DMAC testing centers, and you can take them at any testing center. Uh, and there's a whole week to take them in. So we'll cover that obviously when it gets closer to the end of the course when you have to take it. Uh, just want to give you a heads up. And if that's going to be a problem, please reach out to me, um, and, I'll, and I'll try to work with you as best I can. So. Um, yeah, so I think that's the gist. Uh, there's there's some basic information about um, last day to drop the course, things like that is October 31st. And um, I've been teaching this class for a long time. And I've been teaching online, face-to-face, -face, in all formats for most of my career here at DMAC. And um, uh, students do well, as long as they keep up with the work. Um, they do great. And don't hesitate to reach out. And I do give you my cell phone number right here. It's this 515-971-7468. Uh, uh, you can call or text me there. Uh, obviously, don't abuse it. <laughs> Students are usually very respectful. And, um, but this gives you direct access to me, too, if something's going on. Uh, but the interaction through the discussion boards, the interaction through the Ask My Instructor within my stat lab, you've already paid for my stat lab. You already have access. So you are good to go, and there's no need to wait. So. Uh, really encourage you to, to get into the course, get started, and uh, reach out if you have any questions. So looking forward to working with you, and we'll talk to you soon.